Some things are doing amazing this week. Other things, not so much. Hey there, I'm Shane, and today we're going to talk about Monster Hunter World. Now, Monster Hunter World has had an amazing first two weeks, but why? Why is this game getting articles written about it left, right, and center on sites like Kotaku and Polygon? I mean, you could read the articles, or you can sit here and listen to me talk about them. So here we go. Now, I'm just a humble man who electrocutes himself in live streams and makes stupid videos. But for me, for me, it's the sense of progression, and Monster Hunter kills that. The same way that when I first played Dark Souls, I died. A lot. And then I finally made it to the blacksmith, and I was like, Yeah, I'm great at this game! Made it to the blacksmith! And I realized that that was not an accomplishment at all. That, that meant I had barely done anything in the game. And then, I kept playing the game and getting good at the game, and it's like, oh, I made it to the blacksmith, whatever, now I'm gonna do a level 1 playthrough. It's that same sense of getting good at the game, at least for me it was. The same way that Cuphead is this notoriously hard game, and you start off and you're like, man, I can't beat this stupid potato that turns into a carrot. And then you beat the devil, and you go back and you fight the, the potato, and you're like, this is the easiest thing in the world, how did I have trouble with this before? I'm gonna beat this using my face or something stupid, right? And I know that a lot of people are comparing, you know, everything to Dark Souls. They're like, oh, Cuphead is the Dark Souls of platformers, or Monster Hunter is the Dark Souls of monster hunting games. And I kind of see where they're coming from, and I know it's driving a lot of us nuts, because it's not that they're the Dark Souls of their genre. It's, it's, it's not that at all. What it is is that it's this sense of difficulty tied to accomplishment and that was something that we had when we were kids in games before a lot of games were like oh i'm gonna hold your hand and walk you through this game here's a tutorial just do just do the random button press game and you're good and just just follow along and it's like no no games should be hard and punishing and that's what they were like when i was a kid and that's something that i desire in my game is i want it to like punch me in the face and me to be like oh oh Oh, that game just destroyed me! I better learn to get good at that! And that's what it's doing. That's what a lot of developers are doing right now, is they're like, no, we don't want people to, to beat the game and be like, well, so I beat it. That was time I spent. And I get it, that like some games, are you want to just play through the story. But for me, it's that accomplishment, that feeling of I actually did something. I, I got good. I can now go back to the first challenge that I had in this game and be like, oh, this isn't even a challenge, this is easy. And it's not because, like, my character's all upgraded and stuff, it's because I learned the mechanics of the game. And I think that that's, a, like, what a lot of us desire, what a lot of us want. That feeling that I've made the change, that you've made the change, that we are now the reason why this game is easier. We've learned the little subtleties and the nuances, and that's why the game is is easier it's not because they released a patch and now you're now everything one hit kills every boss no it's because you've learned how to overcome that obstacle and it's without getting too deep it's reminiscent of life in a lot of ways we we see something we're like ah oh, crap i just i can't do this freaking math addition's hard screw it and then we learn addition and we're like okay then we learn like how to do derivatives or something stupid and then, like, we're like, oh, addition, can I just go do that thing again? Just count things? And it's that same sense where it's like, you take something that's difficult, and then you overcome it, and you find something that's more difficult, and you overcome it, and then you go back, and the first thing's like, oh, that was a cakewalk. What was I thinking about? That thing was, that was easy peasy over there. And that's really all I have to say about the subject. I'm sorry that this is different than a lot of my typical videos, but it's just something that I felt like doing, so we're doing it. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what the hardest game you've played is in the comments below, too. Take care. Appreciate ya. Love ya. Bye for now.